you know, at first I thought it was the trainer, but it's the train it's it's the trainee. Like right. I mean, let's just say let's just say God forsaken that she gets with a different company and they just throw her in the truck. And then right. boom, Which, something happened. She was already with a different company. She was with CR England. That's how she got her license. She was with CR England mm -hmm. and she got she got she ended up passing the test. Wow. And they put her on the road, but she was on the road with three people, her, a trainer, and another person. So yeah. she was saying she wasn't really getting that much driving. So after two weeks on the road, she went home. Yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 that three to a trust shit. That's bullshit. Some but, bullshit. So but when here, she got with prom, you, you they just, put her on the road one week you, with you, a person. You, you, you just said it all. CR England. That's a, yeah, it, it, yeah. No, no more need to be said because <laughs> CR England is is I I hate to say this, but CR England is just giving fucking license away. And that's what I'm saying because I said, well, when you I said, did you go to the DMV and take your test or did they? She was like, no, I just took it at the school, mm -hmm. and she was like, well, um, I'm yo when yo, I say yo, she could mother, not do mother, shit, she could not back right, mother. Let me let me mother listen. She she took her test with them fools. Right. You 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 been with her. You you been with her. You checked out the way she drives, man. Ain't no way that she would have would have passed her test with a with a with no a regular way. uh you know with a with a with with the regular way of passing the test, man. Right. She wouldn't have passed right. that. They just Not threw, at all. they just threw her in, took her around the corner, took her up the street, maybe had her back into a in into you know in she, between she the can, calls with she some can help. straight back yeah she can straight back yeah. i'll give her that yeah with some help you know with some help yeah yeah with some help and they gave her her license exactly <sighs> i'm telling you because she can and so that so she had all her shit packed right so i'm like okay i said so what we doing here you going home she was like well yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna just you know i'm just gonna go home I just don't, you know, now I said, now we on a team run right now. Cause at this point now she driving by herself. That was that first day was, that was her first day. Like by herself, I was in the bunk. I wasn't asleep. I was all the way. No, but so your, we made your ass was up. <laughs> exactly. You said, fuck but, that you know, shit. but I knew we were on flat land. So I'm like, we okay. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I, we on flat land. So at least, you know that. Mm -hmm. So, um, I was like, we on a team run right now, and it's your drive time. So mm -hmm. if you quit, that's cool, but let me know what you want to do so I can go ahead and call my dispatcher, and we can go ahead and, you know, make plans. Now, the, the load wasn't due till to Florida till the 12th. Mm -hmm. Hello? To drop any time. So I knew I was going to get there early because I was like, let's get this bitch off and let's go. Mm -hmm. You know, so. I was gonna be there early anyway, so I already knew that. So it, even if she had she had quit right then, I would still had time to get it there myself. I wasn't doing no tripping. But um, so you know, I called the dispatcher. You know, we get on the phone. Then he put put her on the phone. She, I told you we were passing through Dallas. I didn't say we were staying at this motherfucker. Right. Passing through. Okay. That's what a pass through is, you know. So anyway, so finally, she, so we get back on the truck. We get to Florida. Okay. Get to Florida, and I've been telling her about reading her signs, reading signs, reading signs. So I, she, she, she kind of turned into the Tropicana. I was like, make sure you read the signs before we make the turn. She done turned into the fucking employee parking lot. Oh wow! And I was like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? I had, I, you know, I didn't get mad. I just kind of was like, okay, well, slow the truck down. Let's let's slow down right here and figure out what we gonna do. Mm -hmm. And she keep on driving. I said, B stop the truck, honey, stop. You know, I said, well, exactly, this, exactly the way I talk to you is the way I'm talking to her. I say, I was like, slow the truck down. Let's figure out what we're going to do. Right. She keep moving. I say, stop the truck, honey. Stop. Just stop. Wait a minute. Just stop. Where we at? You have to stop. You got to figure so out where you got to figure so out where you at. So she get mad she stopped the truck. Yeah, I said, she get mad she stopped the truck. I said, when stuff like this happens and say you make the wrong turn, you need to stop where you're at. You don't get yourself further into the situation. Right. You stop. I said, so let's stop, let's let's pop breaks, let's get out and look and see what's going on, mm -hmm. and see where, where how we can fix it. Right. So, you know, pop the brakes, and I get out the truck. She's still in the truck. I say, um, you, you, uh, come you need on, to get out of the truck. I, 
when I started getting out the truck, she picked up her phone. I don't even know what the fuck her phone doing up there because she not even supposed to have her phone because I had already took her phone and stuck them down in the thing. She mm-hmm. ain't supposed to have a fucking phone. Okay. So I was like, okay. So she picked the phone up. I said, um, excuse me, homegirl. Uh, come on. I said, we about to go look and assess the situation. Okay. So let she me, get out. She let, got an attitude. How, how, how old is she again? 47. 40 fucking so, seven? Exactly. Why she doing what, twenty why she hey, doing twenty year old twenty year old kid shit? Once I get to the end of this story, you're gonna understand what the fuck wrong with her. Okay. So this is a long ass story. I don't know if you wanna put this on, we might have to cut some shit out. Yeah, maybe. but it's a long ass story. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you probably just cut to the end of this motherfucker. But anyway, <laughs> so we get out the truck. <laughs> We get out the truck, and so we go do the assessment and walk, our, walk around the truck. So when I get over there, she got an attitude. I said, say, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't do attitudes. I don't got an attitude. I don't got an attitude. I said, say. Then I'm like, okay, you ain't got no attitude. I said, because okay, nobody had no attitude in this motherfucker but me. Mm-hmm. So if anybody going to have a motherfucking attitude, it's going to be me. So right. all that shit you got going on, you better cut that shit out, or you can call them hoes, tell them, put you on somebody else's motherfucking truck. Okay. <laughs> Look, she made me let's call them hoes and tell them. So uh, all this shit, uh, I'm I'm with it. You know, I let, broke it down for her right there. You tell them, tell them hoes, put you on a different truck. Cause I'm I can't nobody have an attitude in this bitch except me. Mm-hmm. So we, you know, what I'm saying I had to go ahead and get loud with her, show. I ain't, no, cause I've been, you know, say laid back, kind of quiet voice type shit. You know, I'm now don't let you know. I ain't playing. So she like, no, nah, no, nah, I ain't got no attitude. Okay, we cool, we cool. Okay, cool. So, boom, we get out the situation. Right. We end up, you know, so we end, we go to Georgia, pick up back house. So, I I end up driving from Florida to Georgia, and we, I, after we left Georgia, we once we got past, and we probably like Alabama or something, I turn. Mm-hmm. And so, we leaving out of uh, Alabama, but I couldn't sleep. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, even though it's like the third night of her driving, third, fourth night of her driving by herself, I'm sleepy as fuck. I could not sleep. But I was in the back, so I thought I took some little Alka Seltzer nighttime formula. So I'm like, oh, I'm finna go to sleep, man. I was wide awake. I was just like, I could, and I was supposed to start driving again at three o'clock in the morning. And it was going on midnight, and I was wide awake. Mm. So, you know, I'm sitting up there. I'm just feeling the truck kind of moving funny, like well, you know, the, the trailer feel like it's whipping back and forth because she's changing lanes fast. And I had already, you know, I've already told her about, you know changing lanes at a slow pace and kind of, you know, timing it, not just snatching this bitch back and forth. Mm-hmm. So I feel her snatching. We snatching back and forth. She not she not merged. She not changing lanes, right? She whipping this bitch back and forth because I can feel the trailer just swaying. Right. So, you know, I peep, I peep out the curtain. I was like, say, make sure you, you know, you're changing your lanes at a slow count, at least to five as you're changing to kind of give yourself time, you know. Mm-hmm. So she was like, well, I'm tired. I said, okay, if you're tired, pop brakes, let's stop. So we we stop at a gas station. She go inside. She gets some ice or something, whatever. I lay back down. So I feel us start moving again. So I'm like, cool, we back on the road then. So I guess she all right. So but we probably, we didn't go that far because then I feel us move again. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Yeah, and then we, so we started moving. We didn't go that far and we stopped again. So I'm like, damn. So I peep out the curtain again. I'm like, what's wrong? She said, well, I'm just tired. I said, okay, well, pop breaks and put the curtain up and go to sleep. I said, I already told you. This like, ain't no pressure here. Like, if you tired or something like that, I said, you put, you stop the truck. Mm-hmm. You stop your clock. You know, put off duty. I said, whatever, sleep or birth, get in the bed. So for a minute, she just still sitting in the driver's seat, just sitting there looking out the window and shit. I was like, uh, it's hey. I said, put the curtain up, go to sleep. You know, so about 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. So I was finally able to fall asleep. We stopped moving. I, I done went to sleep. Mm-hmm. So about 3 or 4 in the morning, I hear some screaming going on. Like some, ah, ah, what the fuck wrong with her? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She must have did it a couple of times because it take a little bit to wake me up. Okay. Like, I, if a phone ring, I, like, if it ring the first time, I ain't going to hear it. Maybe the second or third time, I'll hear it. So she had that scream a couple of times, but I heard too. So I was like, what the fuck wrong with her? You know, I'm like, what the hell going on? Something wrong with her. Like, you know, so I sat up and I looked and her leg hanging off the bed and she was kind of moving. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what the fuck wrong with her? I said, say, I-, I called her name. I said, you all right? And I kind of tapped her leg. 
and she but she didn't move. So I tapped her leg again. I was like, "You all right?" And I seen it. She was still kind of like shaking or something. Like I seen it moving a little bit. So okay. I'm like, "You all right?" This bitch just start peeing everywhere. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Oh my god! <sighs> I was like, "What the fuck?" I was grab my my towel was hanging like right over my thing, so I grabbed my towel real quick and I put it up. I was like, "Bitch, what the fuck wrong with you?" I'm mad. I'm like, "Bitch, what the fuck wrong with you?" Stupid! I done got the fuck up. I'm, I'm about to beat this bitch. I done got up. I'm about to whip her ass. <laughs> I look up. And this bitch having a seizure. A uh, wait, a legit seizure? She was having a seizure. I rolled oh my back. God. She, uh, 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 I'm like, what the fuck? Oh my God. What like, the fuck? Like, see, like, seizure, like tongue swallowing that you got to put she a spoon was, in the I, tongue I, I seizure. I'm not doing all that. I ain't putting that. She, her tongue was up and her eyes was rolled back, but it looked <gasps> like she was coming out of it. It looked like she was coming out of it. But I was like, what the fuck? I was about to beat her ass. So she was having a seizure peeing at the same damn time. Well, you know, when you have a when when somebody have a, a seizure, like if it's a serious one. Yeah, they lose they, they lose, lose control they of their body. They function. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my so, God. So I'm mad. I'm like, this bitch done peed on me. So I'm looking at her like, should I call the police? No, nah, you should have oh, no, 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 nigga. Why you didn't call the nine one one? No, 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 no. I did call nine one one. I'm just mad as fuck because oh, she peed on me. I'm about to say that's nine one one right no, 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 there, no, no, no. yo. Yeah, I call, I call nine one one, and they came, they came and got her because, like, you know, she was just, you know, I, so they end up coming or whatever. So, so when hold they on, came, so she, you called the whole so time. Where, where were y'all? Where, where, where? We where, were in Mississippi. Oh my God! And y'all, y'all was, was y'all was at a truck stop, right? We were at like a off. We were at a marathon. We was at like an off brand truck stop, and I was mad that she stopped it there because I was like, I know we stopped before. We was at a pilot or something. Mm -hmm. I told her before, like I really don't stop at off brand truck stops because you know the parking lot was tow up. You know, I just kind of you know how we, you know, you just be conditioned to go to pilot. No, loves shit, and fuck all that. Shit, that petrol shit. and all that. Shit, dirt, dirt lot. Paved, paved lot. As long as I can yeah. park, as long as I can park that motherfucking and 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 yeah. lock up, I'm good. <laughs> Shit, fuck all that. Yeah. But uh, but the ambulance came. And, yeah, they uh, came, and uh, it was funny because she had been out of it the whole time. Like, wow. they they probably probably took them about twenty minutes to get there, and she was out of it the whole time. So when they got on the truck to get her, it was an older white man. He had a beard, mm -hmm. so um, they were calling her name and trying to wake her up. And when she opened her eyes, all she see is a white man. She starts screaming. <laughs> so I know that shit was funny to me. I was, I started laughing because I was like, I know that shit scared the hell out of her. Imagine you know, but you know, you know when they well, fuck, when you have a seizure or whatever, when they wake up, they don't remember nothing. Wow. So you you think you just fell asleep and you over here, you wake up and somebody old white in your face. You don't know who the hell they are. So, so that shit so, was kind of funny. But. So they took her. So they took her off the off the truck. Took her to the hospital. So yeah. Uh, did you did you have to wait for her or did you have to leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I waited. For, no, I was gonna wait for her anyway because I'm like, we in Mississippi, right? She, you know what I'm saying? When you have a seizure, like I know my my stepmom used to have seizures, so I know like um, you know, once you come out, you don't know where you at. You know, right. you kind of be out of it. You're out of it. Like, and then every time you have a seizure, a little piece of you leave because your brain lose oxygen for so long, so mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, so it, it make you have, like, your memory is bad and, like, little shit. The things that I was noticing that was wrong with her, it all made sense, though. Oh, my God. No, so, she, um, she she shouldn't even have her She shouldn't see, even been in the truck. She shouldn't even have so, her license. Hold on. Hold on, like, hold on. I'm gonna tell you because this, 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 we're getting to the good part now. That what else would happen? But this, so they took us to the hospital. I, you know, I'm in the truck, and so I end up, you know, I had to call, let them know. I said, hey, you know, she's in the emergency room. This mm -hmm. is what happened. Mm -hmm. You know, so they sent somebody to come pick the trailer up that I had to go on and, you know, send it to repower it. They finna go ahead and deliver it. They gave me an empty trailer, and I went on and went up to the hospital. Right. 
because I had been calling back and forth all day, and the nurse was giving me, you know, was talking to me, but it was like kind of off and on, and I was like, I couldn't call her family. She had an iPhone, iPhone locked. Yeah. I couldn't call her family. I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? She had kids and stuff like that, so it's like, you know, and her mama, whatever, but I couldn't call nobody. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was just, I was like, well, let me just go back. I went up to the hospital. So I'm at the hospital with her. The nurse walked in, and she was like, well, since you've had several seizures, boo, boo, boo. And I was like. Several? Fuck? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Like, so she, see, she already was having seizures. So, so like, okay. wait, are, are you, let me ask you this. Are you sure there was seizures or strokes? No seizures. Oh, okay. Cause this is this is this is where we get to the good part. So we we leave the hospital. They discharge us, told them you know no driving at all. You definitely shouldn't be driving no yeah, truck. Yeah, you no. need to see a neurologist. No, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're you're done. So, you're done. Yeah. So you know we get back to the truck and um she called her mama and she telling her mama well yeah I had a seizure and some but you know how somebody say something on the other end mm -hmm. her mama was like wasn't surprised she was like well you already like you already knew something 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 mm -hmm. and she was like well i know but i just really wanted to drive a truck so her mom she already knew mm -hmm. like she already knew she'd been having seizures mm -hmm. so when she got off the phone she was like well yeah when i had my first daughter i had a real bad seizure like 20 years ago i was like and they and she was like well i was prescribed a, a dilens and so these hoes done you've already you already have a prescription for this Mm -hmm. You said so. You already knew. Did did you were did, up. did did you tell them that on on the DOT? You oh my god! Th this lady has lied. <sighs> she lied. She lied to to you know they ask you those questions on when you fill out applications yeah, yeah, on certain things. You yeah, can have medical yeah, conditions. Yeah, you, blah, yeah, blah, you blah. just check no, so you can get yourself you a two-year your, card. When you do your medical, when you do your medical thing, they ask you that on your medical exam information. They ask you that, right? Mm -hmm. Then when the person comes in and does your stuff, they question you. Mm -hmm. They be like, hey, you know, have you had this issue? This and you, they question you. What the hell? Wow. So she so, so she, she has lied. So she on did, everything. So basically she lied her way through. Yeah. Oh my God. And and CR England gave her her license. Man, that's wow. But but this my thing. You can't really say, okay, it's this company or it's this thing. She has lied to right. everybody. But listen though, that that's what and I'm been saying. hiding it. But I, I I agree. Like you 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 know, you didn't know that she was like seizure prone until it mm -hmm. actually happened, but you knew that she wasn't she wasn't uh Someone she right. wasn't she wasn't role ready. <laughs> You know, she yeah, wasn't she wasn't, ready. Ready she to wasn't begin paying with. attention. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't driving yeah. correctly. The people right. at the people at CRS CRST CR England should have seen that. They are, yeah, and they shouldn't already have knew. gave her and shouldn't have gave her her license. Right. Right. So <sighs> I guarantee crazy. you, I guarantee you she would have came through Prime first. Prime wouldn't have gave her her license. No, somebody mm -hmm. once she got to a certain point, and then they would have been like, "No, nah, fuck it." But you could see that one chick that that she was with that person with that one week. They mm. put her off the truck in Pennsylvania. Mm. Now I don't know, and she ended up having a fly from Pennsylvania back to Texas, which I don't know why the person put her off the truck. But they probably got into it. But see, when she was with me, she tried to quit twice. Remember, she tried to she tried to get off twice. Mm -hmm. And what I'm thinking, what happened when we were in California? Remember how I'm like, she took all the sheets off the bed. That bitch probably had a seizure then. That night. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> because we 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 were just in a real stressful situation. Uh, and that and that triggered. No, nah, she. See. Um, yeah, we we in, in stress we in stressful situations every day. Uh -huh. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you nah. So you you brought her back to the terminal. What 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 you do to end her to to uh, end her career? We we have I was we had to, we, we, had to end, we, we had to end it. Her her career yeah, is yeah. done. Yeah, I was gonna take her. Yeah, I was taking her back to the terminal because you know they called and they were like, well, you know they asked her if she wanted to come to Prime to see a doctor, 
or if she wanted to go back to Dallas and see a doctor, and she said, well, I'll come to Prime and come see, because, you know, they have a neurologist there, because they got a, a, a clinic, a separate clinic that's there. Damn, but Prime it's not, got a it's separate not Prime. clinic? <laughs> yeah, it's what? not. Prime have a separate clinic. It's not their clinic, but it, damn, I missed that fucking sign. No, what? You mean, yeah, no, what are y'all got? No, well, the, you know, got they the, have. Colt got, got, got a motherfucking, got, got the motherfucking housing for everybody to be in one place. Right. And, Got their well, own got doctors their, uh, and shit. Yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> well, they got uh, Cardinal Health, which they do the sleep studies and stuff there. But I guess it's a neurologist that's in that who does this, who the, who's over their part and kind of you know monitors the the brain waves or whatever. So they were gonna bring her there, wow. you know. So, but the you know the lady was like, well, just send me the di uh -oh. the discharge papers yeah. and then we'll let you know. So once they read the discharge papers, they just called back and was like, no, nah, you can take her home. <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, you, know, you, okay. you say drop her back down in Dallas. So that's what you did? A dispatcher. Huh? That's that's what you did? Dropped her back down in Dallas? Yeah. Yeah. We dropped back down to Dallas, which was fine because I wanted to go back home anyway. Wow. So um, I got, he got me a load going down to Dallas and I, um, you know, I took her back. Wow. And, you know, yeah, she don't, but it was just, it was yeah, crazy though. That, that's wow she could have so she, she has been documenting so she knows she's been having seizures she had a seizure a week before she got on the truck with me oh my god then when she went back and started looking so since 2019 over the past really i think it's sooner than that she done documented like 10 different seizures so oh. she been knowing and then and then like we was riding and she was like but i'm okay though i'm okay i mm -hmm. said you're not okay you're not okay i said i said not, every time not, I said, not okay you, to I drive said, you're not even yourself now not and, not okay to drive right right she's not imagine okay to you, drive. imagine you would have had a seizure right oh my gosh she that's what i'm saying i said what if you would have killed somebody's child oh like you know what i'm saying we would have ran up into the you know the kids usually sit in the back seat you have a seizure and run up into the back of somebody oh my god like, how, oh, how, how would you that be you, able to live with yourself i am glad that you able to that you that i am glad that that happened that you caught that yeah. man because I'm, you, yeah because I I mean, if, like, if she would if she didn't if she didn't do if she didn't have that seizure that night you would have been like Everything I cool never thought I wouldn't have never still knew. Oh my god. Yeah. And she wouldn't have said and, nothing either. Yeah, but when she like look, when she got I, we kind of started pissing me off cuz she kept saying like, "Well, I'm fine." I said, "You're not fine." And when I gave her the scenario, I'm like, "You could have killed somebody. You could mm -hmm. like somebody's child." Like, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. She still had this thing about, "Well, I don't know what I'm going to do." I'm 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 I, 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 What do you I, mean I, you don't I, know I'm you like, you're not going to get back in the truck? That's what you're not going to do. Yeah, but then she she did it again. Like, well, I don't know. I'm fine. You know, no. I'm just normal. I'm. I said no, you're no, not. No, I said not. and I said and the more you keep saying shit, it's the more pissed me off, off I'm starting to get because you don't even give a fuck about my life. You could have killed me. I got a whole family at home too. Mm. I was like, man, this shit. And I was just like, this shit's selfish. Like, I, I was just so pissed off at the selfishness of it. Like, I can dig it. Like, you want to do something? I said, but there's a lot of things you can do in trucking without having to drive a truck. And putting people in danger, like come on, like, this shit was. I, I was, I was done. I was just too done. And, and when we got back to Dallas, uh, I was like, I'm gonna call her a lift and get her back home or whatever. And my best friend was like, Damn, you gonna pay for a lift? Cause we were like, like I said, where I live compared to where she live, it's like an hour, maybe like an hour or so, 45 minutes. And she's like, you gonna give her a lift that far? I said, I sure the fuck will. Mm. She told me how much it's gonna cost. I said, I don't give a fuck how much it costs. That bitch can cost over a hundred dollars. She going. Yeah. I'm gonna pay for that shit. I'm I'm good on her. Cause yeah, like man, then when she was getting out of my truck and like taking her sheets and stuff off, mm. that shit stank so bad. I said, Oh, you can take that pad off and throw that away too. <laughs> so all that shit. Yeah, away. you can take the mattress too. <laughs> throw that shit away. <laughs> like don't don't leave that shit up to throw all that shit in the trash. Oh Come my on. god. What the fuck am I gonna do with it? Oh man, she mm. Wow. So that's my worst experience training ever. All right. Yeah. So my question again: Are are you going to continue training, or what? What what you going to do now? No, I don't think I'm going to continue training. I'm gonna. I'm trying. I'm fixing to train my daughter, so she'll be she'll be getting on the truck with me within the next week. But um, that's probably all I'll be doing. But I know my daughter can drive. Like she's. 
I know she not a, uh, she's not a passive driver, mm -hmm. and I know she can multitask. Wow. Good lord. Wow. So, man, that's, I'm just that's... I'm just, but I am done with that. You know this. It's, that that, that, that pretty much, much yeah that that pretty much stops you right there like yeah yeah I'm, I was like because when done. you think about your mortality like and I thought about them we was going down through these fucking mountains? mountain graves for eighteen miles like I was like this bitch could have ran us off the cliff oh this motherfucker God. like I'm I'm so I was so hot you just don't understand I know you probably thought you gotta but you just hot man wow. especially when she peed then she peed on me. <laughs> she said she R. Kelly your ass, huh? But say I was gonna beat her ass when I got up. She better be glad she was having a seizure because I was gonna walk. I was gonna toss that bitch from side to side in that motherfucker. I was mad. Oh man, well, hey, thanks for the story, man. That's, that, I mean, that's 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 dangerous to, uh, yeah. you know. Hopefully, hopefully she. You know, don't don't be selfish and get back in the truck. She she should know um, by now. No, I that. called I called Prime back. I called my dispatcher back. I said y'all need to put it on her DAC report mm -hmm. that she has been. Cause I said this lady been having seizures. I told him when I started telling him, I said she started talking 20 years ago. She had a seizure. I said then she's been having seizures. She's been documenting. I said so she already knows. So y'all. Well, that's what's up and. And boo to CR England again, man. CR England, <laughs> whoa, man. Listen, that goes to show you. I, I guess it is true that they just give CDL license to anybody now. That shit is fucking. They need crazy. to. They need to go in there and and uh. They need and to investigate take, they shit away. that shit. Yeah, because they need to be taking the people down to the DMV, especially if they like that. Because mm -hmm. I, when I did KLLM, they didn't just give you shit. You have to. Like, even the people, the examiners did not associate with anybody in there. They come in there, they do their examinations, and they will leave. Like, they wouldn't come in there and be talking to students or getting around and with the staff and be doing, they come in there, do their fucking job, and leave. Mm -hmm. Like, so they would, didn't have the, like, buddy-buddy, like, oh, they're going to let somebody just pass or some shit. No. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad you're still here. So let me go thank ahead God. and end this. So I'm glad that you're still here. So thank you very much for uh, coming on. You is always, always a friend of the show, always checking up on your boy, and I really do appreciate that. So, you know, you take care. You uh, drive safe and everything. And uh, and that, that that's about it. All right. Well, thanks for having me on. All right, let me...